My name is Renny van Dijk. I work for BK IT Solutions in the Netherlands. We've been a Roost partner for about two years. We made a workflow to document our Fortinet firewall devices. It will uh, basically pull some core information from the firewall and put it in IT Glue. And at the same time, it will draw a configurational backup and also uploads it to IT Glue. It will pull all of the flexible assets from IT Glue with the type 40 gate. And then it will get all the assets and loop through it and get the documentation information and the afterwards the configurational backup. Right now I've edited the workflow a little bit so it only pulls one item. So we can show you how it would look like if it runs. So I'm just going to press test here. Right now I have an IT glue asset here that's completely empty as you can see. Like almost no information, just the IP address, port and embedded password here. Those are the informations that are being used to connect to the FortiGet firewall. It's currently still running. There we go. All right, so in about uh, one minute total, it pulled all the information from one Fortinet gate. And if I just refresh this page, you will see some default information, a serial number, what firmware it has, which firmware builds, when the license expires, and some default interface information. And here on the side, we actually see the configurational backup that we can download and use if we need to. So that was basically how it works. A little bit of insight info for how the sub workflow looks like. This is the one for documenting the device. It will uh, first start off by grabbing the password from IT Glue. Then it will use the Agent Smith integration to run PowerShell to use the API of the FortiGate itself to get all the information. It will do it for the device information, the license information, and the interface information, after which we will consolidate it to put it in the flexible asset afterwards. If the license is about to expire or already has expired, we will raise a PSA alert saying that the license has been expired and it should be renewed and including a link to the IT glue page of the device.